Well, I, I suppose you can hear all the racket here. We've got a little baby here this morning and it's bawling. It hasn't stopped. It's driving me quite mad. Wee, wee, wee. Oh, oh dear. It's all right, pet. It's all right. Oh, stinky. Calm down, dear. We're in a terrible flurry here. I don't know why the baby's crying so much. I've offered it cups of tea. I've offered it cake and biscuits. I thought perhaps it might like a cup of coffee, but it didn't seem to like that either. I don't know what to do. What? What? You don't give the baby tea? Oh, well, what do you give it then? The baby needs milk. Is that right, my little poppets? Does the baby need milk? I don't know. Well, she seems to have settled down. What's that? I should give her her bottle. Yes, well, perhaps I should. Do you know where it is? Where is it, Stinky? Let me... Oh, it's here. Have you got it there, dear? Oh. Bit of trouble there. No, Stinky, it's not in my pocket there. Then what are you doing, dear? Oh, we've got it. Do you want to feed? Oh, you want to feed her? All right. Oh, she does seem to like that, doesn't she? Oh, well, oh, look. She's closing her eyes, my little poppet. Oh, it seems to have done the trick. Well, oh, I do believe she's gone to sleep. Well, Stinky, we'll pop that down there. Now, my little poppets, that's much better. Well, time once again I'm so sorry for that racket I do apologize babies who knew they'd be so noisy well stinky should we get on with the story dear yes I think we should well stinky no don't interfere no I said don't interfere with the baby dear we don't want that racket again dreadful noise I have to say oh babies well we'll pop stinky down there he looks exhausted I tell you what we had the baby's been crying for hours Oh, it's been dreadful here, such a noisy house. And we'll crack on with the story. Well, she seems to have gone to sleep. So I think I'll just pop her down here in her little bed down here. There we go, my pet. Oh, yes, down there. That's right. Oh, she's tucked out fast asleep. Let's hope, fingers and toes and whatever else crossed, that she stays that way. Anyway, today's story, Peepo. And there's a rather marvellous baby in the pram there. Look at that. Peepo, this is a new one. I haven't had this one before. And we'll get on with the story. And hopefully there'll be no more of that dreadful noise. Oh. Although I do like babies. They are rather wonderful, but they're a lot of work, aren't they? They certainly do make a racket. And here we go, my little poppets. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, stands in his cot. What does he see? Peepo! And there's a little baby there, standing in his cot. And what does he see? Well, let's turn the page and find out. He sees his father sleeping in the big brass bed and his mother too with a hairnet on her head. He sees the shadows moving on the bedroom wall and the sun at the window and his teddy and his ball. And there he is there. It might be a little bit tricky for you to see there. There's a little hole cut out in the page. And Peepo, there he is. All the different things that baby can see. Mum and Dad tucked up in bed. Oh, it's a right mess in there. Oh, been up all night with the baby, I guess. Here's a little baby. One, two, three. Sits in his high chair. What does he see? Peepo. And there he is there. And he can see Mum. He can see Mama through the little hole in the page. Oh, wonderful. I do like this book. What a charming book it is. He sees his mother pouring hot porridge in a bowl. Oh, delicious. And his father in the doorway with a bucket full of coal. He sees his sister skipping in the yard outside and his grandma pegging washing on the clothesline to be dried. Well, that's the thing, isn't it, my little poppets? When you have a baby, they do seem to go through nappies an awful lot, especially uh, when they've started to eat solid food, so I'm told. They make a dreadful mess. Certainly it's a very messy house. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, sits in his pushchair. What does he see? Peepo! And there he is there, sitting in his pushchair, and he's peeking at all the different things he can see. Wonderful. He sees a bonfire smoking, pigeons in the sky, his mother cleaning windows, a dog going by. 
He sees his sisters searching for a jar or a tin to take up to the park and catch fishes in. There they are there. Lots of things happening on that page. Oh, busy looking for a jar or a tin. Mum cleaning the window. Wonderful. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, sits on the grass, what does he see? Peepo! Oh, and there he is there, sitting on the grass, looking at all the different things, watching the world go by. He sees his sisters fishing with brown stocking net and dresses tucked in knickers and legs shiny wet. He sees the tassels blowing on his grandma's shawl and the fridge on the, oh sorry, and the fridge, oh the fridge, goodness gracious, oh I do need new glasses. And the fringe on the push chair and his teddy and his ball, oh fridge indeed, silly Mrs. Wiffle Waffle, oh there he is there, that would be funny. Lots of things happening there, oh everyone busy in the park, children with boats on the, in the pond, all sorts of things. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, sits on his sister's lap. What does he see? Peepo! Ah, and there he is, and look at that, my little poppets. I do believe he's pulling his sister's hair. Ah, giving her hair a bit of a tug there. Ouch. Babies do tend to do that. They sort of pull on everything. He sees his grandma ironing, his father pouring tea. Ah, the grandmother does the ironing. How marvellous. His other sister squabbling, she wants him on her knee. He sees his mother dozing in the easy chair and a dog in the doorway who shouldn't be there. Oh, the dog's inside. He's not supposed to be inside. Cheeky fellow in the doorway. Oh, someone's let the dog in. Goodness gracious, it's all happening, all going on there. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, sits in his bathtub. What does he see? Peepo! And there's Baby in a gorgeous little bathtub there, splashing about, getting all nice and clean, hopefully ready to ready for bed. Oh, let's hope so, that he sleeps with poor Mum and Dad. He sees his father kneeling with his sleeves rolled up and the flannel on the table and the soap in the cup. He sees his nightie warming on the oven door. His sister's in the clothes horse, puddles on the floor. Oh, they're playing amongst the washing. Well, that's going to collapse in a heap. Mum won't be pleased about that, all the clean washing on the floor. Although, really, a clothesline does make a good cubby, I have to say. I've caught Stinky doing that. Oh, naughty Stinky. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, on his way to bed. What does he see? Peepo! And there he is there. Mum's taking baby upstairs. And there, through the little hole, is mum and dad and sweet little baby. Oh, how lovely. He sees the landing mirror with its rainbow rim and a mother with a baby just like him. He sees the bedroom door, the cot made ready, his father kissing him goodnight, his ball and his teddy. Oh, well how sweet. And there they are, the three of them all together Kissing baby good night. Ah, oh, he's probably very tired with the adventurous day he's had. Here's a little baby, one, two, three, fast asleep and dreaming. What did he see? And there he is there, thank goodness, sound asleep, tucked up tight in bed. Well, the end. Peepo, oh, I should be quiet. I forgot about our baby, Peepo. Wonderful, simply marvellous. What a wonderful book. Well, I have to say, my little pockets, I'm quite exhausted. I've had a rather noisy morning, I have to say, and I think I'll be glad when baby tots off home to his mum and, or her mum and dad, I should say. Very busy morning looking after baby. Stinky, did you enjoy that book, dear? You did. What's that? I need to lower my voice. Yes, I suppose I do. We don't want that baby waking up again. What's that? The baby's stirring. Wah! 